the Sodor Steamworks was quiet. Victor was very surprised to see Thomas puff in with Percy. Flaming fireboxes! What's happened now, my friend? I asked Percy to pull my special for me. His valve popped. Why didn't you pull it yourself? Um, because I, uh... Because he... Oh! <coughs> Kevin! Slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Sorry, boss. Just a slip of a hook. I know. Then Thomas saw the old parts. He knew Hero needed them. He knew he would have to tell Victor about Hero. Victor, I need your help. We need your help. I'll always help you, my friend. What is it you need? So, Thomas told Victor about Hero. Victor was amazed. Very good. Looking after another engine is very important. Especially looking after an old engine. Tell Sir Topham Hatt. No, we can't do that yet. Hero's old and broken. Sir Topham Hatt might have to scrap it. But if we make Hero really useful again, he won't. Okay, I understand. Whatever I put in this corner of the yard, you can take. Thomas and Percy were very happy. Thank you, Victor. Okay, Percy, your turn to be fixed. That evening, Thomas puffed into Tid Machette's. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. He was cross. Thomas, I hear Percy was pulling your special instead of delivering the mail. And now, Percy's mail cars are missing. Thomas felt bad. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know where Percy's mail cars are. I will help Percy find them tomorrow. That's exactly what you'll do tomorrow. By my order, order, order. Sir Topham Hatt's voice boomed round Tidmouth Sheds from top to tracks. Thomas's friends looked at him. They knew something strange was going on. Thomas, is everything all right? Thomas huffed the huge puff. He needed his friend's help. I have something very important to tell you. As the stars sparkled above Tidmouth, Thomas told them all about Hero. The engines had never heard such an amazing story.